Vlogmas Day 7. So today I'm wearing my Romy t-shirt and this is a pattern by Tilly and the Buttons and it is also a dress pattern I think as well but this is a t-shirt version. To be honest it does need some modification. The shoulders are actually a little bit wide here but then the bust is a bit tight so it makes it sort of saggy a bit here but it's still okay and I still can wear it around the house. I really want to make another one of these that fits really well, but it's not too bad. It's still sort of wearable and I love the fabric. This fabric is an art gallery fabric and it's a turquoise and white stripe, which is lovely and summery. <laughs> not appropriate for this time of year at all. I'm going to be putting my cardi on in a minute. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what socks I've got on today. So I wanted to make a stocking to go on the fireplace for my friend Shelley's little boy called Robin. So yesterday I used some of the red fabric I'd already got in my stash, I've got quite a lot of fabric in my stash, <laughs> and some fleecy fabric to make a little stocking. And I did actually record the footage of making it, um, not all the way through, but little snippets of how I made this, and I'm going to put the footage in in a minute. But I just thought I'd show you a little bit closer up, the little Santa on the front and he's he's made of applique with layers of fleeciness and some red fabric and you can see his little nose is stitched in there as well as his eyes and then i've used some free motion stitching to decorate the rest of the stocking and that's how it's turned out but i will show you the footage of how i made it here so I'm going to be making a little stocking for my friend's little boy who's called Robin and I'm going to have it personalised with his name at the top and I've used the template that I drew out especially to make my project bags that are in the shape of a stocking and I thought actually that's the perfect size so I've cut out pieces for the top which is made of a white fleece and the main body of the stocking but it's just in a red cotton so what I'm going to do is I'm going to applique a little Santa just here and then do some free motion stitching for the personalisation at the top and some little sort of white snowflakes around on the stocking itself. I've already cut out the little pieces for the face of the Santa and this bit here and the hat which I'm going to show you in a minute I've used heat and bond which is basically an iron on gluey surface which I can then iron onto this surface so it sticks so this is going to be his face and then I've got a hat but what I've done is because his hat needs to be red and the background's red I've cut out a little bit of wadding to go underneath to make it stick out a little bit and then once I've stitched over the top as well you'll be able to see the outline of the hat against the red of the material so I've got a little bit of fleece just to go under there and this has got the heat and bond on it as well and I'm going to iron that into place but first of all I want to check everything is in the place I want it to be well, there we are so I think that's going to be all right so first of all I need to take the other pieces off and just iron those two pieces so that they're stuck I haven't used heat and bond on this fleecy material because it's polyester and it doesn't do well with irons so I'm going to just iron those two pieces on first place the other pieces on top and delicately pin them in place and then I'm going to do some stitching so that everything's all stitched on to the background fabric
so I've stitched around the hat and done robin in free motion stitching and then I've just applied the top of the hat well the brim of the hat and the bobble and just stitched around it in free motion I'm just adding the beard now actually I've got away with just holding it because it's fleece it's quite grippy on the fabric underneath and I'm going to stitch around that and then I've got a little moustache to add it's cold outside but the fire keeps us warm we can't spend the night underneath the mistletoe and I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is So I used a heat erasable pen just to sketch out some little stars here and then I'm doing some stitching over those stars and I'm just literally doing exactly the sort of star shape but with some balls at the ends. But the difference this time is that ever since July I've been happier than I have ever been. So I've got a three inch strip of fabric, I folded it in half, give it a press, opened it up again and then folded the edges into the centre, give that a press and then folded it over so we've basically got four layers of fabric. So this is going to be the handle for the stocking, so it'll be like that but we want to stitch this closed so I'm going to do uh, an eighth of an inch seam allowance all the way around just to make it nice and secure. I don't really like using interfacing on straps and things because once they crease they just look a mess so rather than put interfacing on I've got four layers of fabric here so it's nice and strong. Right, so I've got the front panel finished and I've joined that to the lining piece that coordinates with it and I've done the same with the back panel but I've put the little handle on the back and it's not in the seam allowance so there's plenty of seam allowance. I'm going to use a quarter inch seam allowance and I'm going to put this right side to right side. I forgot to say actually I've used wadding on the inside of just the outer pieces. Um, I'm going to join those together like this. I pin them all the way around and I'm going to stitch all the way around apart from a section at the bottom of the foot so that I could turn it the right way. Oh, it is Christmas, the first for you and me. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe and I've got you. So we've got a gap at the bottom of the foot, I'm putting my hand in there and I'm going to pull the stocking the right way out. The seam allowance is small enough not to have to clip it hopefully, we can always do it the other way again and see if we need to clip any of the seams. I use my hands to smooth those seams out. with the press I think first before I start putting it the right way. Now you get the idea and this I'm going to actually stitch this up but I'm going to pop it inside just to make sure that everything's okay before I do stitch it up so I don't have to unpick it or anything. So that one will go into the lining. So I'll give that a bit of a press, stitch the lining on the inside so it's all enclosed and we've got a finished stocking. So there we are, all finished. 
and um, hopefully that's given you enough information to go away and sort of make up your own. I basically just sketched the outside of this shape myself and I do use it for project bags that I've already got in my shop but I did draw it out to start with and the little Santa face I did make a sketch after I'd seen some pictures on the internet that I liked the look of so just making the sketch and then layering up the pieces and stitching them together it's a relatively easy make. Time for chocolates Adam. Number seven. Ooh. Another lint. Oh, now we've caught the culprit. We've got loads of the lint. And a galaxy. Number seven, bottom left. Ooh, it's the record player. This gramophone's a bit quiet, Adam. <laughs> and there's a lot of extra pieces. You sure you've done it right? Yes, in case you lose them. Time for my chocolates. Oh, 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 oh. Hazelnut lint. Good. <laughs> Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of nowhere, just us and no one else. I've decorated everything to be perfect for this week. Tomorrow it is. 